YouTube. Hi, this is Apostle Stacy Woods, and you're watching Dimensions of Stacy. I'm here, uh, as always, answering your questions that you have sent me in the inbox, and I'm actually playing catch up. Now, again, I need to apologize. This um, video um, request was sent on 5:13:11. Yes, that long ago, honey, and it was sent during the time when I was in my in in my YouTube sabbatical. I wasn't really coming on and recording a whole lot, but I was still, you know, receiving uh, inbox um, messages. However, um, I wanted to just try my best to just catch up as much as possible because I really value you guys. I value you all. I really thank God for you all. I always say you make ministry possible and I mean it, okay? So I wanted to try to do my best to come on and answer uh, these questions, okay, to the best of my ability. And uh, for this one, I'm going to kind of, you know, edit it a little bit because it's a little lengthy. And there are also, um, you know, some personal details that I don't want to dis just kind of disclose to everyone. But basically, to wrap it all up, the question was asked, how do we as Christians handle or deal with the spirit of competition in the church? Especially when you're trying to avoid it, but others are operating in it. Please help us out. Wow. 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 The spirit of competition. You know, I see this happening so often in the body of Christ and it really grieves my heart and I know that it grieves the heart of the Father to see us not complimenting one another but competing with one another and you know it's, ama it's amazing because you sent this video request some time ago but particularly this year I have tried to in every message that I've preached I have tried to drop in this little nugget and that is if we are truly in one body Operating in one, you know, one global body of Christ, serving one Jesus, you know, the same Jesus, the same God. Um, and supposedly we're trying to all get to one heaven, the same place. To, so, you know, we're on our way to do that. We're supposed to be advancing one kingdom, the kingdom of God. Why is it that there is so much competition in the body of Christ? And, you know, many times, you know, uh, I think that we carry our worldly ambitions into ministry settings. Many have been very successful in the business world, uh, in the secular world, you know, promoting themselves and doing things, you know, that will put them on top. If they are coming from, you know, uh, backgrounds where it was a highly competitive environment, I think many times that follows us right into the church, unfortunately. Then there are times in which we are seen to be like, you know, in a competition when actually we're just striving to do our best. I know I've been charged in past that I had a competitive spirit. Um, and when in turn, I'm just a very ambitious person. I'm a go-getter. If it's something that I believe God said that I can have, if it's a promise that God told me in his word was mine, I'm going to get, get it with all I can. But you know, the spirit of competition comes in, and this is where we have to be careful. There is nothing wrong with being ambitious. But if we are striving uh, to do something at the expense of another, that's where we really have to watch it. You know, I was told just the other day of, you know, uh, some ministers, and, um, you know, they, they are new to the area, you know, and they were saying, uh, you know, we 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 gonna be the, we gonna be the church. We you know we we cause 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 ain't nobody doing nothing for real, and so we 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 gonna we gonna you know we we gonna be the church. Everybody go to, and they've even started getting members from other po people's churches. Hmm. Okay. Bad start. Bad motive. Bad agenda altogether. Why do you need to be the church? Why can't you just be a part of the body of Christ? Why do why you got to be bigger and better and you know yeah that mentality that mentality is just anti k 
kingdom. That's just not, well, it's probably the kingdom, a small k kingdom though, and not the kingdom of God. You know, we many times see examples of those that are really trying to set up their own kingdoms in the earth. Uh, the spirit of competition. Well, the question was, how can you combat against it? How can you avoid it? You know, it takes two. It takes two people to have a contest. And if it's no longer an issue for you, just throw up your hands. You know, in, in settings, even in ministry, I have learned how to say, okay, you take the, go ahead. Go ahead. And many times, you know, there have been things that I knew that God anointed me to do and called me to do. But there were individuals who wanted the spot who wanted the position, who felt like they could do better. So, you know what, I even, instead of fighting about it, instead of, you know, trying to, you know, flex my spiritual muscles to see who's more anointed, I just start saying, okay, go ahead. Because there are other things that I could be doing. So, if you think you can do this better than what I'm doing, if you think you can do a better job, amen, go right ahead. Because if it's for the kingdom, we don't lose. But nine times out of ten, now, ten times out of ten, those individuals discovered that it was not as easy as it looked. And when one, and once they were placed in the position that they were so strongly coveting, and it was, it was coveting. Once they were placed in that position, they decided, they, 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 they figured it out. Okay, it's not as easy as it looks. In fact, it's not easy at all. You can have it, you know. So, um. Refuse to be a competitor. Refuse to get in the competition with them. Let them know, okay, God has called me to do this. I'm here to compliment what he's called you to do. If they can't receive that, unfortunately, sometimes we really just have to walk away, shake the dust, love folk from a distance, but say, hey, you know what? You do whatever it is that God has called you to do. I bid you guys speed, but I'm going to do what God has called me to do as well. And just refuse in your heart to engage in competition. Just don't get involved. Amen. So I pray that I've answered your question. I pray that I've helped you in just a little bit. Kind of trying to steer you, you know, in the right direction. Um, I, I've been a part of that so many times when people have felt threatened or intimidated. Just by my presence. Just by me showing up. They felt like they had to do extra stuff. <laughs> Just to try to, you know, show up, show me up one or, you know, one up me. But that when you meet those individuals, they have really allowed the enemy to distract their focus. And they're really, truly not kingdom minded, okay? But when you have a kingdom mind, you realize, hey, if we're on the same team, then you can't do anything but make God look better. So there is no competition. There's only complimenting in the kingdom. Okay, so this is Apostle Stacy Woods reminding you to enjoy Jesus and knowledge joys. And thank you for making ministry possible.